Hi friends, this is Sam here. Today, let's discuss about non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs which are NSAIDs in pharmacology. First of all, what are NSAIDs? These are drugs which are used to, to treat during inflammation. These are also known as or come under the classification of analgesics, antipyretics and anti-inflammatory drugs. Now, let's discuss about their mechanism of action, classification of drugs, side effects, etc. First of all, in order to understand these things, we should know that what happens during inflammation. First of all, let's zoom into the cell membrane. Cell membrane, the enzyme which is helpful in conversion of phospholipids in the cell membrane, it's phospholipase A2. This phospholipase A2 converts phospholipids in the cell membrane into arachidonic acid, which is a substrate for two major enzymes, which are phylox and cox enzymes. What is phylox? Phylox is pi lipoxygenase and cox is cyclooxygenase. And this uh, cox enzyme, we don't discuss much about in this uh, about these pi uh, lipoxygenase enzyme. Let's discuss about this cyclooxygenase. This cyclooxygenase is further classified into two types, which is cyclooxygenase one and cyclooxygenase two. This cyclooxygenase one enzyme, which further gives two enzymes, which is thromboxane and prostaglandins. This cyclooxygenase 1 is also known as housekeeping enzyme, which is responsible for various functions of body. Now, cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme. This produces only prostaglandins, and this is induced only during inflammation or pathological conditions. So, the common thing is cyclooxygenase 1, and unusual thing which occurs only during inflammation is cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme. Now, what are the main functions of thromboxane and prostaglandins, which are the enzymes of cyclooxygenase 1? These help in gastric mucus secretion, platelet aggregation, renal blood flow increase, etc. Now, this uh, prostaglandins, these occur only during inflammation. So, as per the name, their work will be also like inflammation, pain and fever. Previous stage of inflammation, there occurs some alterations which a patient or a person can feel. They are redness, pain, swelling and heat. So, in order to know about this NSAIDs, what happens is, this is the usual mechanism which takes place in the process of inflammation. In order to the work of NSAIDs, that occurs inhibition of COX-1 and COX-2, which ultimately decreases the levels of thromboxane, prostaglandin, in this particular process, where decrease in prostaglandin causes, as I said already, anti inflammatory effect, antipyretic effect, and etc. So, friends, we discussed about the process what happens during inflammation, and we discussed during inhibition what occurs, and that is the role of NSAIDs. Now, based on their inhibition, they are classified to various types. Let's discuss about. First, based on the inhibition of selective COX-1 inhibitors, they are classified as selective COX-1 inhibitors and non-selective COX inhibitors and selective COX-2 inhibitors. These are the three classifications based on their inhibition. Now, first, selective COX-1 inhibitors has various examples of drugs. They are ketorolac, fluorbiprofen, ketoprofen, indoglethacin, and low-dose aspirin. And non-selective COX inhibitors are naproxen, naproxen, ibuprofen, pyloxicam, and diclofenacin. And selective COX inhibitors are meloxicam, diclofenac, celoxib, and etodolac. Now, the effects. What happens when there is decrease in prostaglandin, prostacycline, or thromboxin? Let's discuss about them. The effects. First, what happens when there is decrease in prostaglandin or prostacycline, which is PGE2 and PGI2? This causes GI bleeding, gastric bleeding, and peptic ulcer. Now, decrease in thromboxane A2. Decrease in thromboxane A2 causes anti effect, which leads to bleeding. And decrease in PGE2, which is prostaglandin, uh, prostaglandin and prostacyclin, PGI2, is causes dilation of renal efferent arteriole. Dilation of renal efferent arteriole. And the decrease causes kidney injury and cardiovascular system. What happens in the cardiovascular system? Agents with high COX-1, which is cyclooxygenase 1, has protective cardiovascular effect and agents with high COX-2 has opposite effect. 
which is opposite to the protective cardiovascular effect. Now, we are prostaglandins. We discussed about the prostacycline, prostathromboxane, etc. Now, there are some analogs which are prostaglandin analogs, which are prostaglandin E1 analog, prostaglandin F2 alpha analog, and prostacycline analog. Prostaglandin analog, some of the examples are alprostadin, lubiprostone, and misoprostol. So, these drugs have various uses, which alprostadin has erectile, used for erectile dysfunction and lubiprostone is used for chronic constipation and misoprostone which is used for stomach ulcers. Prostaglandin F2 alpha analogs. These are drugs like bimetoprost, latinoprost, travoprost. These have, com they have various uses. The common uses which are, they are used are to treat eyelash hypotrichosis. What is, uh, what is eyelash uh, hypotrichosis? It is the Decrease in amount of eyelash, which itself means hypo is decrease, trichosis is loss of eyelash. So, decrease in loss of eyelash is known as eyelash hypotrichosis, which these drugs, which are prostaglandin F2 alpha drugs, are used to treat this kind of disorder. And next, prostacycline analog. Prostacycline analog, these are ilopras and teprostonil. These enhances the cardiac index. Over here. This is just an overview of drugs. When you, just, you guys just move on to detail in non-selective box inhibitors, you will find salicylates, etc. Over here, we have one common symptom or syndrome, which is Ray syndrome. You would have heard about this. This affects mostly children because this affects the liver and brain of children after the onset of flu or chickenpox. In that case, there is a contraindication of using aspirin. So you guys should be very careful in these kind of situations. And each and every drug has a uh, difference in their dosage, difference in their side effect, uh, like aspirin and ibuprofen. So that's all about today and this topic. For more videos, subscribe to our channel. Until then, it's bye from Sam.